is it's sort of an elusive idea. And of course, it's been clearly defined many times. But I think that uh, each of us has kind of our own idea of what that might mean. Uh, who wants to go first? Simon, why don't we start with you? You know, let's uh, let's just make sure that right now, guy, you're featured. So we want to make sure that the uh, the spotlight moves around. Okay. Yep. Hey, Who's uh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Hey, right on. Yeah. So visionary art. Um, yeah, it's a lot of things. I mean, when I first got into it many years ago, I remember seeing a seeing a call out on Alex Gray's website to join in a movement of, of creating art that evoked higher states of consciousness. And it was at a time when I was exploring entheogens in a more intentional way. And it really awakened me to this whole other level of visual art that I hadn't really experienced much before. So that still resonates with me a lot with what I do. You were describing my work as kind of shamanic before, like psychedelic. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I feel like it's connected to those sort of liminal dream states of being, altered states of being, altered states of consciousness where, you know, visions come from. You might, you might get a vision and want to paint it, but there's something about another form of metaphysical energy that I like to be imbue in my work that, uh, that that's what visionary art speaks to me about is like this other other levels of consciousness and energy that we're playing with that we, we don't always see, but we feel them. So how can we express them? Nice. David, how about you? Wow, that's a fantastic question. Um, the territory keeps changing, uh, culturally anyway. Uh, but on a personal level, wow, I mean, unspeakable experiences. I mean, I think Simon kind of mentioned this and in Android's uh, description of his, of his, you know, in his bio, it kind of really relates to that which can't be spoken, that which can't be shared another way. Obviously, a still life is not really the essence of visionary art, but perhaps a piece behind me does a little more justice. But something, you know, something about unspeakable experiences, those things that have to be conveyed uh, through the mind's eye to another person. And I think we can convey a whole lot through a symbol or through a, you know, an image that it would take us volumes to, to attempt to poorly speak about. I think perhaps it's really just looking at the, uh, the nature of vision as our sort of primary uh, apparatus of perception, you know, even to that degree that sort of like, you know, Blake and even Platonism saying that, you know, light comes out of the eye and we see through our eye, you know, a really interesting concept to me so it, it's loose and it's vague but, but there's something in there that i think a lot of us are speaking to nice um adam how about you i think you're muted right now okay hey how's it going hey <laughs> <clears throat> looks like it's going awesome um 